Yo guys, what's up? Today I have another episode for you of my Bradford save on Football Manager 2015. Pretty exciting episode, got some more great news for you guys. So, if you guys don't already know, Bradford is doing pretty well in the league right now. We have played 11 games, we've won 9, we have 29 points. If you do the math quickly, you'll see that we are undefeated. 2 draws, 9 wins, 30 goals against, 30 goals, sorry, 4, that would be suck if it was against, and 10 Against, we've had some pretty great games this uh, year. We've had two, three games over four goals. Two with four goals, one with five goals against Crawley. So, really great season so far. I'm, we haven't lost yet. That's incredible. I, I can't believe that. So, probably my best ever save because never would have expected to be, you know, undefeated at this point in the season. I'm worried that the first loss is going to come, but however, that's going to happen. My players maybe might need the loss so they stop, you know, they don't get complacent, they don't get cocky. So, but yeah, I figured I'd update with you guys on that. That's incredible. If we go to the schedule, we haven't lost since the Aston Villa game. We've drew, we've won, was that five and drawn two. We've had 1 2 0 against Rochdale. That was a really solid game. I started Aaron McLean that game, and ever since that game, I think I started, I just start him every game now just because he's been playing really well. Then we have a 2 2 draw against Yevil. Alan Sheehan, who's probably been our best player of the season, scored both. We had two penalties that game. However, after starting 2 0, we gave up two goals and they came back and tied us 2 2. I know we have a Yevil fan who's watching this, so there you go, man. We tied. Or maybe it was a Leighton Orient fan. I can't remember. And then we beat Swindon 1 0. Swindon were second in the league at that point, so to beat them 1 0 was pretty great. And surprise, surprise, Alan Sheehan scored on a penalty kick. Then we came and beat MK Dons 4-1 away from home. We start, we, this game was 1-1 at halftime, but we scored two goals right in the first two minutes of the game, right off the break, and that pretty much sealed the deal after that, and we won 4-1. Then we have a 2-2 draw at Colchester. They were mid-table, so it sort of stunk to um, tie this game. But if you guys look, they had two goals in about four minutes, and they were 2-0 up on us. However, we came back and tied 2-2. Thanks to Mark Yeats, who scored in the 66th minute. And then, surprise, surprise again, Alan Sheehan with a penalty kick in the 85th minute. So he was solid for us. And we pretty much destroyed Port Vale. There was really no contest here, if I can remember. Or maybe, there, maybe they were the ones who... No, okay, yeah. But look at that. 29 shots, 6 on target, 11 fouls, 61 to 39 possession. Like, really no chance for Port Vale whatsoever this game. Really incredible stuff. Like, I... I, I was watching just in awe. You know, we were having every single highlight pretty much. And then we just scraped by crew where Stephen Dart beat our right defender. Had a really nice volley in the first five minutes of the game. And that was sealed the deal. Uh, and Alan Sheehan actually missed a penalty kick that game. He was five for five on penalty kicks. If we go to his stats and PKs, six penalties. Five scored. He's been amazing on penalties, but however, last game, he misses penalty kicks, so that sucks, but hey, thanks for scoring the first five, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, squad-wise, really solid. I mean, take a look at this, guys. For goals scored, we've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 people have scored this season so far in the league for us. That's just in the league. 13 people. That means starting 11, not including the goalkeeper, and sub. So everybody has really con uh, contributed this season, which I'm really happy with. It's not just one player dominating. Sheehan has those goals because of the PKs because we get like a penalty kick every game for some reason. Assists, again, looks like 11, 12 people with assists. It really just, it's everyone, you know? Player of the match is also spread out, like really spread out. But it's also so spread out because we haven't lost a game yet, so we pretty much win a player of the match every time. But as you can see, it's only one guy who's at over one. Stephen Darby is the only one to have more than one player of the match. Uh, so that's pretty incredible for us. Average rating. The whole team is pretty much over 7 except for some substitutes. Gary Little, who has actually started every game, is under 7. But yeah, he probably could be doing a bit more, but I'm not going to complain. He's part of the team that's undefeated right now. And then we have some subs too. Now, transfer-wise, I brought in one more player to the team. And Stephen Foster off a of free transfer. I panic bought a central defender because both of us were injured. And he's actually not that bad of a central defender. He's got good heading, good marking, good tackling, which is what you want. He's got a lot of experience. Natural fitness is good. Stamina is great. So, I mean, really, I'm not mad I bought him. But I feel like I could have probably scouted a bit more and found somebody better. But he's a, he's a backup. I'm only paying 90000 a year for him. So he's on the lower end of the contract-wise. He has good experience championship-wise. So that was pretty solid. 
And as I said, if I just go to contract, I'm only paying him 95000 a year, 65 after tax, so really not that bad. And compared to others, he's really down there. So um, value, he's worth 39000 He's probably going to be decreasing soon. But yeah, so that's solid. My payroll is actually almost 15000 above, and I don't know how to transfer some of my transfer budget to the payroll. Like I know last save I did, I could take some of my transfer budget and put it into my payroll so I wouldn't be in the red, but I don't know how to do that manually. Like I know sometimes your coach can tell you that you're in the red, then you can transfer some of your transfer budget over, but I don't know how to do that manually. So speaking of coach, I actually fired or re- manual, manually terminated, terminally, man- I forget, I basically got rid of my coach and replaced him with Colin Cooper, who has a lot more experience, a lot better. So I don't know where I can see like what happened. There, is there like a history of me firing people? But I got rid of him. He really wasn't that great. I think his name was Sam, Sam something. But Colin Cooper has experience. He's played in the Premier League. Look at that. He played in the Premier League for Middlesbrough. And he actually played. It wasn't just on the bench. Played for Nottingham Forest, Millwall, Middlesbrough. So he had a really great playing, playing career, really solid. And he's got... For a coach for this level, I'm really happy I got him. And I only pay I'm only paying him seventy five thousand. So that's I think it was sort of a steal on my part. He's been doing really well for us. Uh yeah, so that's solid. And I I'm thinking the reason I'm doing pretty well is because of this tactic. The four one four one has just been destroying. Possession wise, we are almost dominating possession every game. I don't think we've had a game where we've had less possession. Maybe against Aston Villa we had less, but that I'm not gonna count that game. I mean every other game we've been doing really, really well. Fortunately, Junior's out for us. He's been one of our best players this season, but he has a twisted ankle. He's going to be out for two or three more weeks, so we're not going to have him for our next three, four games, which is disappointing, but we have people who can fill in for him. I have confidence in that. So that's exciting stuff. And yeah, so Trent, otherwise we have one player loaned out. We loaned out Niall Heaton to FC Halifax for playing time. He's only 18. He's got a decent setup or attributes for now. We'll see if he progresses there as well. So yeah, hopefully, um, oh no, he's not at Halifax, he's at, uh, where is he, Barnett or something like that, transfer history, can I look, no, he's at Nuneaton, that's where he is, Nuneaton, that's where he is, I forgot, sorry, Nuneaton, that's what I meant, and they play, I think, Vanarama Conference, yeah, they're 15th right now, so we'll see how they do with that, but today we're going to be playing Knott's County in the first round of the, or sorry, second round of the Johnson's Paint Trophy North, that should be great, I'm excited, and yeah, so let's see how we do. Let's go to our match preview. They're going to be playing a 4-4-2, really simple stuff. Nothing surprising. Uh, but we're going to be going with our 4-1-4-1 as usual. Let's see if we can... I'm going to do a quick pick and then base it off that. Let's see what our coach is, is thinking how we play. All right, Hanson up top. Well, I really want to play McLean. He's been on fire for us. Mark Eats, I promised him some playing time, and he's actually been having a really solid last few games. However, so has Omar Rowe and Felipe Morai. Both are really playing solid for us, and this guy wants playing time, so it's really tough to get him in the team when everybody else is doing well in his position. Uh, Dolan's, I don't know if I want him playing. We're going to play Little back there, and I think we're actually going to put Jason Kennedy in for Dolan. We're going to move him back over to the left. We're going to take out Foster. We're not going to use him this game. I'm not going to... This looks fine for now. Ben Williams or not. Okay, that should be good. We have two players on yellows. That's going to be iffy, but we should be fine. Knox County have lost their last four games. As you can see right there. They, yeah, they've lost their last four. All 1-0 and a 2-0. So we have to make sure to take it to them. We're actually going to change it to... Ah, match training doesn't worry. It doesn't matter anymore. So yeah, we're going to do the same thing as usual. Mora and Rowe on the wings. We need to win this game to achieve minimum expectations in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. So if we just win this game, our board will be happy with us. And if we lose, they won't be. And it would suck to lose this game because we've been doing so well this season. I don't want the board to think any less of us because we re- didn't reach the next round of the Johnson's Paint. So we're going to go ahead and continue. They predict that we can see them off. I think so too. Continued opposition. Oh, they're actually playing a four. They're playing a four-four-two, but they're playing one above the other, so that's different. Apply advice to team. That's why I like having a coach who has tactical knowledge and player ability judging because he can do all this stuff for me. <laughs> don't know if it, I don't know how important it is, but it's just nice to see that, you know. Okay, so tell the team their favorites. Or their, okay, dominant. We're going to assertively say 
Come on, guys. We are the favorites here. Okay, only Jason Kennedy responded well, so God bless you, Jason Kennedy. All right, let's go ahead and just passionately say to everybody else, I believe in you. You guys, you guys can do it. All right, here we go. Match has started. I turned the quality down a little bit on the games just so it wouldn't make my computer lag as much. You know, I'm recording on a laptop, so it's not the best device system thing to be recording on. But I don't have a desktop, so I have to work with what I've got. Uh, we're going to have the first chance of the game here. Little's going to play in the middle. Oh, what's a nice ball. McLean to the side. Put it in. 1-0. Felipe Morai continues his amazing form with the sixth goal of the season. Seven minutes in. 1-0 lead for Bradford. Solid stuff. That was a nice ball from Darby. I don't know how he got the ball, though. McLean sort of fell in front of it, and Morai was at the right place, right time. Solid stuff from us. 1-0. Can't have asked for a better start. We're going to make this change. Aaron McLean is taking a knock. We're probably going to, if we are solid, we might take off McLean at halftime just to keep some advantage up. But Sheen's going to play the ball. Morai. Oh, that's Rudis. The central defender. Right place, right time for him this time. First goal of the season for him. Morai, Morai with the assists. Morai being the man of the match at the moment, only 14 minutes in. But that's already a 2 0 lead for Knotts, for Bradford against Knotts County. Knots are uh, going to have to pull something crazy out of the bag to try and come back from this one. Don't want to get cocky, but I was worried about our team getting complacent, but we've been playing really solid so far. Little steals the ball with a slide tackle, but Potts plays a nice ball up. Yeats to McLean. McLean just dribbles through everybody <laughs> up to Kenny. This is nice passing. White House all up. McLean? Not 3 0, 20 minutes in. This is crazy. Billy not with his first goal this season. Everybody everybody should score today. That was a bit lucky, I think. I think that went through the keeper's legs. We had a bit of luck off. Uh, look at that. Central defense. I think three of their players had knocked off them. And not was just right there. And that lo looked like it went under the keeper's arm. That's quite unfortunate for them. They're having some defensive issues. We're just playing this really well. We have Germany versus Brazil here pretty much. But not even close to that. Two goals in the next minute we can. <laughs> it might just happen. Who knows? So they're going to play the ball back from their defense, try to work their way up again. Let's see if our def defense can pull out a stop. Oh, he's going to play it through, isn't he? Dixon plays it out wide to... Where's the defense? How did that not go in? Was that off the post? And off the post. That's on, or That was off the post, not enough the post. That was unlucky for them. That was their first chance in the game. Wow. That was not a good goal to give up. Look at that. Two shots and they score off their... Second or the first one on target, we've had seven and five on target. Only two, well, three have got in. That's not bad either. I can't complain, but still, sort of a cheap goal to give up. The defense has to be up on that. Disappointing, but wow, four goals before 40 minutes. Are we gonna score another? Yeats 4 0 Rudis with his second goal of the game. His second off a corner front or second off a set piece. That's 4 1 before 45 minutes. We are, I don't know what's going on today, but we have four goals before 45 minutes. We're the home team as well, which is huge, but six uh, six shots on target, fourth one that went in. That's amazing. So it looks like we're going to go into halftime with a four to one lead. I'm very pleased. I'm not going to complain. We're going to go ahead and start off. At 60 minutes, we might just pull out three subs just to get some of our starters off. Get them in, uh, match fit in time for our next game. But I'm, I am not really worried about us losing this game now. Unless we really fall apart. And looks like we have another chance here. McLean plays in the middle to Kennedy. Kennedy tries to dribble through two people with his bald ass head. Does not work out. That should bring us to the next highlight. Yep. Let's see where we are. And it looks like it's for us. Darby off the throw and plays in the middle. Nothing happened. Sheehan was there, but he cannot connect on the cross. And now Carroll is going to play it up. I don't know what this highlight is. Oh, that's a great ball. Carol was there to collect, though. I don't know what this highlight is. Usually, this stuff happens really quickly, but this is just a bunch of playing around, losing the ball in midfield. Murray. Missed slide tackle. Oh, that was offsides. That was offsides. That's off. Yeah, I can see that. Possession-wise, it's 50-50, so it's not 
we're not dominating possession. We have a lot more shots, we've had better chances, we've won more tackles. Passes completed is the same. But we've just com we've converted our chances, and that is leading to us being 4 1, obviously. So we're almost at the 60 minute mark, which is usually the time to. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to mark this guy. I'm not liking him. Okay, well, now I want to go to my tactics. All right, so we're going to bring, we're gonna bring out Jason Kennedy. We're going to put Dolan for him. He looks pretty tired. Jason Kennedy just came back from injury, though, so I can understand that. Who else we got? We're going to take out Aaron McLean and bring in a Hanson. We're just going to take out. We're going to be three subs, make three subs. We're also going to take out Yates. Uh, passionate. I want to see your performance. I think there's much read to come. Calm. Pressure's off tonight. Boom. I just made three random ones. <laughs> passionate and calm. The best. I think those are, those are the best two ones. Passionate and calm usually bring something out of your team. So we're gonna. It looks like we're just. Uh, I mean, we don't even have to play. We can just play defensive now if we really wanted. Can lower the intensity, higher tempo, lower tempo, drop deeper. We'll just play a bit more defensive. We can just look to score on the counter. Only a minute left though, so all these changes. Oh, they have a chance off a free kick now. That was a pretty poor effort. Just trying to curl it around. That's the game. 4 1. We are off to the next round of the Johnson's Paint Trophy. Christopher Rudis with the player of the match, scoring two goals off set pieces. The central defender having a great game. Uh, they only gave up one. We only gave up one goal today. Scored four in the first half. Uh, I could tell everybody just took it a bit easy in the second half. They didn't want to pull out a Brazil game or Germany Brazil game. So I'm very pleased. That's that's a solid result. I'm really happy with that. So as you can see, that's the kind of football we've been playing this season. You know, just didn't necessarily. They actually had more possession than us, but we actually converted our chances today. Usually we have a 20 plus chances, but we only convert two or three. This time we only we had 14. Seven on target, converted four of those seven. So really solid stuff. I'm really happy with that. So that's just going to bring us to the end of this episode. A bit of a long episode, I'm sorry. And yeah, so that's a win off Notts County. Next time we're going to play is probably this next Johnson's Paint. Or maybe the FA Cup first round. We'll see. Who knows? I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace.